Hey, thanks for checking in on Bathtub Sir and welcome back to Observer. Last episode was completely insane, it really was, I'm not trying to just um, exaggerate that, it really was crazy. Basically we entered poor old Amir's brain here and it turns out due to it being like addled with drug abuse and all sorts of other stuff, it was a horrible horrible time, it was one of the most craziest dream sequences I've ever played in a game. But look at him, he's seen better days and unfortunately Amir has now passed on, guts and all. So we need to find out what did it, and it's all pointing to a horrible, horrible entity known as the Unholy Wolfman. Seriously, we got a glimpse of its face, and it was terrible. Um, let's take that. That stuff keeps us, takes our strain levels down, doesn't it? So I guess here now we just have to, have to do some good old-fashioned detective work, find some clues. Morphine, some of the counter painkillers. The numbers on them might lead me to Amir's clients. Okay, two oh nine. Ah, 209-112. So that's two more rooms we can take. I think 209 looks like a good bet. So let's check our um, update thing anyway. <laughs> Option, investigate the crime scene. Might be a good idea to scan the Novak apartment for any additional clues. Find Helena, or Helena, sorry. Oh yeah, she ran off. Someone said she... Oh wait, hang on. Amir Novak is dead, but his wife managed to escape. The dream, the dream eater, showed me glimpses of a tattoo parlor. I think I saw one down in the building's courtyard. Yes, I remember seeing that. Um, we can investigate apartment one one two. It looks like Amir Novak was doing a bit of dealing on the side. His clients might know something, and that's the same for two oh nine. Looks like we have multiple paths here, so we can. I think we'll probably investigate the crime scene and then try and find Helena. Um, I've got a horrible feeling she's dead. Now, obviously, we can scan all this blood now. Yep, blood. <laughs> I suppose I could have told you that. Tattoos on his head. Are they gang related? Probably got in prison. Probably. Imagine getting a prison tattoo on your head. I'm sure people do. Controlled substance. Yep. That was the feed stuff. And this is his, like, drug paraphernalia. Medical grade inhaler. Man. He was huffing whatever that stuff was hard. So let's get out of there and have a look around here. Scratch marks or hair? I think it's hair. Some strange looking hair. Not human. Not animal. Well, it must be one of the two because <laughs> it couldn't be anything else, could it? Could it? We don't want to pick up the hair, it seems. Now, what's really striking me, I can't tell what this is. Is it a bed? Is it a settee? Is it like an indoor jacuzzi? But it's filled with blood. Like so much blood. Possibly more blood than what we could come from Amir here. Now, should we try and do a, a bio sweep of any clues, and then we'll do like a tech sweep of any clues. So it doesn't seem to be anything else related that we can scan. Jesus. <laughs> I love you, Jesus. Well, it's good to know that Daniel was a holy man, unlike the wolf man. Right, we'll check out this photo, perhaps. Well, well. You must be Helen. What else are we hiding in here? I mean, Daniel's got a cool voice, but it's so weird. It really is the strangest voice. Aha. Can we do anything with this? Holographic flat frame. Can we not play with it in any way? Maybe change it? Nope. Just that Daniel said, what else are you hiding here? At least we know what Helena looks like now. Okay, we can go through cupboards. What's this stuff? Spray paint? What's that spray paint? I don't know. Another ID card? A credit chip. Handy for storing off the grid currency. Oh, I see, okay. We'll scan it just because we can. Unregistered currency storage. A chair. More blood. You can't scan that blood. Another hollow frame. Who's that dude in the middle? We haven't seen him before, but I'm pretty so sure we saw him in the Dream Eater. Him and Helen are both have the same haircut. Right, what's in these cupboards? Nanophage and I. A guidebook on how to deal with the nanophage. Can't scan it in any way, so we'll put it back. I don't feel like we're getting a lot of clues here. Oh, computer terminal, that would definitely help. 
nothing in here. I have one last sweep before we hop on the computer. Right, let's do it. There's got to be some clues on this thing. It's a Commodore. No, it isn't. <laughs> it's a Chirador. Okay, right. Let's go for his mail. Regarding, it's shown again. First off, as you're attending tattoo artist, I must advise you to stop sending me these messages. If you think you have a problem, come see me at the shop. Secondly, the piece on your neck was healing up fine the last time I saw it. The accelerant worked, and if it really is, as you claim, getting all messy, it's most likely has something to do with your incessant scratching and tampering. For the last time, leave it alone. Drop by for a checkup if you want, but do not bore me with your petty anxieties. I am not a psychologist. From Jay. Okay, Jay. So, is this from Amir or from Helena? I reckon it's from Amir. He's been bugging the tattooist. Corrupted data. The last batch you brought in was partially corrupted. I've managed to salvage most of it, but, like I said before, you have to give the decryption tool more time to break through their scramblers. If we were to keep up this arrangement, you need to deliver on your end. This is sensitive data. Each distorted line of code means hours of additional work and my time is very precious. I've said it before and I'll say it again. The software is undetectable. The only way you're getting caught is if someone catches you physically interacting with the workstation. I know you're scared and I am well aware of the risk this situation puts you in, but that is precisely what I'm paying you for. And that's from A. God damn these initials. Finally, a favour. Sorry, Hella. I know we go way back a ways, but I really can't help you this time. I really wish I could, but... Even putting aside Amir's ongoing health issues, the higher-ups have enforced a strict hiring policy. No C-class citizens and especially no ex-cons. I know Amir's not a bad guy and he deserves another shot, but there's really no way I can get around these um, asinine regulations. Again, I'm real sorry. If there's any other way I can help out, let me know. Take care, Aneta. So it looks like Helena was trying to get Amir a job, which is very commendable. But it seems like ex-cons are deeply frowned upon. Uh, work with Chiron. Every job well done helps defend Chiron. Productive citizen. Avoid civic demotion. Remain active. Apply for an authorised appointment now. Filter appointments. Lowest to highest. Okay. So he is this job applications basically? A waste disposal technician. I mean, I think we know what that does. Junior pest exterminator. Uh, I think we can probably take a guess what that is as well. A drone assembly line operator. That sounds kind of interesting. Performs basic control and maintenance activities in a drone assembly plant. Although not mandatory, a basic knowledge of robotics is seen as an additional advantage. A minimum two years of experience working in an assembly plant is required. All applicants must, must also undergo a basic background check. Oh, crap, that rules him out. A data courier. Nice. Junior service technician. Cool, so an IT guy. Some interesting jobs there, but I think he's um, ha like hampered by his, his criminal past. Plus, he is a drug addict. So how, how, how well can he hold down even a basic job? So, this is his uh, CV. Um, strengths. Team player. Can work with others even if they're not like me. I don't care as long as the job gets done. Human resource management. Can tell if someone's the right man for the job or just talking big. Conflict resolution. Can make problems go away for good. <laughs> oh my god, that's a little bit uh, ominous. Resilient to extreme stress. Can work hard when things get rough. Nice. What have you done in the past? Clean up the streets. Did good there. Long shifts. Even worked overtime. Sanitation. Cool. And delivery. So you've done a bit of everything in these available jobs. Ah, this spider game again. Should we try and do a level? I'm tempted. These bloody spiders. <laughs> right. Killed one. Um. Oh my god. Oh crap, we got eaten. This game's pretty hard, and I'm no good at it. I'm just glad it's the wolf man we're worried about, and not the damn spider man. Like, not Peter, pa Peter Parker time. Ah, oh, not the Peter Parker type. <laughs> I mean, you know, like the huge shell of... Are we going to make it? Yes. Right. But I'm kind of bored with that. I oh, need to get all the coins to complete a level. Just get out of here, spider game. No clues found there, though, unfortunately. Might be an idea to scan. So it's telling us to scan... Nope, don't want to do that bit. That's what I wanted to do. Personal computer. Oh, we've got our scanner on. So maybe let's look around like this. Are there more drawers here? No. Nope. Under the bed, perhaps? Ah, oh, is that the memory chip thing? The compass? 
I want to get to it. Can we not? Oh, wait, is it the thing we just jammed in his neck? All right, fine. That's probably why we can't do anything more with it. Ah, but what's this stuff? Is that inside him? The voice box the implant. Not uncommon among long-time feed addicts. Right, so it, does it ruin his voice, do you think? So he needs a speech implant. That's crazy. The only thing that was giving him my... An artificial heart valve. This guy was on death's door anyway. Even before the wolfman got him. Right, what about out here? We've looked at that, haven't we? Ah, okay, we've looked at that photo as well. It feels like we should be able to do something more with this. Ah, there's cupboards up here, though. No, nothing we can do. I don't think, anyway. Right, that's a bit of a shame. What else have we got in here? Might be a good idea to scan, find Helena. Should we go and find Helena, then? Sure. Leaving the crime scene. Pursuing the lead. The victim's wife could still be in the building. Nice. Oh, it was 102 one of the uh, things on the pill? On the pill bottle, I think it might have been. No, 112. Okay, fine. Right, we don't want to speak to any of these suckers again. So let's try and head out to the courtyard again. Sounds like a good idea. Because that's the, the lead I wanted to pursue first. Okay, I think we've got to head down here. So I'm going to see what on earth it could be. Better to get scared now than scared later, right? It's a basement. We can go down in here. Why am I doing this? Why on earth am I going into the damn basement? Why don't I just go to the courtyard? Oh, okay. Are we out? I think we may be out. <laughs> that was weird. Ground floor. Fine. Maybe it's just a weird shortcut. Now, if I was a courtyard, where would I be? It's out here. Yes, brilliant. Look at all them birds. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to run all through them. That's the type of guy I am. Caretaker's not there. That's a little bit scary. Alright, come here, birds. You're asking for it. <laughs> oh, they're not even scared of me. No, we just got some frame drops instead. God damn it. I really wanted to scare the birds. So did I just walk underground to get from this building to that building? I think that's what I did. Tattoo shop. Hopefully we can shed some light on this. Whoa, that is messed up. Case log updated. What's it been updated to? Um, wife managed to escape. I think I saw one down. Yeah, we're here already. So it didn't update at all, I think. Surviving yet the nanophage? So anything we can scan here. Anything electrical at least. Okay, yes, there is. Where is everyone? Where's the service? Maybe he's behind that curtain doing a tattoo. Right, how much money you got in here, buddy? Cash register. Pre-war components detected. Yeah, why you got such an old cash register? Maybe you're just trying to be edgy. We really shouldn't be going through all these drawers, should we? But we will. We've got a curious nature. Okay, can we work with this? Ignored. What are you? Personal computer. Let's get on it. The Forgotten Gallery, a collection of early 21st century body art. Cool. Nice. I wonder if there's going to be like one on anyone's bum after a holiday to Malia or something. Oh, I like the uh, I like the, the space dog. That looks cool. And the cyborg wolf. Nice, cool tattoos. I like them. Okay. Hey, man. 
I saw some of the work you've done on my friend Dave, and I've got to tell you, that's some serious wicked ink. I want to get in on some of that. I was thinking of doing an original design, maybe a skull with flames around it. <laughs> an original design, skull with flames, come on guy. But get this, the flames are actually like animated and forming like a spider's web on my elbow. I know, pretty out there, but with your talent and my input, it ain't no thing. So, like, drop me a line whenever you can squeeze me in. I'm good for the money too. I mean, I'm a bit short on cash, but you take nutrient stamps, right? Again, love your work, man. Dope ass ink. Cool, so you can get, like, animated tattoos. That's really cool. Special lovers. Hello. I hope I got the right address. If this is not, in fact, the Jack's Ink Tattoo Parlor, please disregard this message. But if you are who I think you are, I was told by one of your former clients about your special line of tattoos. The high-end kind, if you catch my drift. My son would very much like to get one of those. In fact, he needs to get one immediately. I know it's expensive, but I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. Please contact me as soon as you read this. A high-end tattoo? What on earth could that be about? Or like, if you know what I mean. It's a weird connotations there. Um, I know you told me not to contact you again, and I've deleted all our message history, just like you asked. I only want to thank you once again for the work you've done on my wife. The tattoo turned out to be a thing of beauty. She literally cannot imagine life without it. You're a real lifesaver. Rest assured, I'll have the rest of the money delivered by the end of the week. Something fishy's going on here. Ah, oh, that's Emmy's head. <laughs> we know that head well now. Oh, nice line work. That's crazy cool. Almost like wood. That's also pretty damn cool. Ah, oh, is that how they're moving? So that's what it's like when it's static and then it moves like that in the second image. Bunnies! Oh, for that one might be in the skull and the spider dude, but it's not. Okay, everyone's playing this game with fire and sword, but not us. We suck at that game. Oh, it's on a floppy disk as well. <laughs> I can agree with that. Yeah, but is this was that a tattooist recording that? Because everyone does seem so weird in that apartment block, they really do. Right, can't interact with the uh, stereo system. Oh, for f really? Another dead body? Oh, that's Helena. No. My timing is really off today. Poor Helena. Crap. Lazowski, 65621-0. We have a third victim. Time of death, about an hour ago. Starting forensic analysis. Oh man, we cannot catch a break. Everyone's dead. Should we scan it? Is that a tattoo gun? Hollow injector, what does that do? I wonder. I don't know. Right, should we... I mean... Where should we start here? That like smooth soft jazz is really putting me off. Oh, what have we got here? That's got to be tattoo gun. Yep, tattoo machine. Is that the pedal they use? I think it is. Wireless pedal yet. Right, let's check out her watch thing. Come on, get it. There we go. Right. We got a match. So you call the dead man in Adam's apartment. Brilliant. We still don't know who that is, do we? Now let's take her brain chip thing. The neural implants untouched. Oh, I don't know if we want to jump right back in there so soon. <laughs> Probably going to be very scary, I would have thought. Another scary endeavor. Let's just see what we can find. Blood splatter on the table, so it travelled far. It's all around her, obviously. Oh, is that more hair? Just to the left? The victim's blood is mixed with ink. Elevated hormone levels. Oh, fuck. The killer used the tattoo machine as a murder weapon. No way! That's freaky as hell. I mean, if it's the Wolfman, why would he use a Lydia tattoo gun? Is one Helena Novak, wife of the previous victim, Amir Novak. 
if it was the Wolfman, he'd just like scratch and buy it, right? There's a lot of stuff to investigate here. I'm a sapien. Yeah, that's no good for us. These scratch marks. Scratch marks on the floor. Yep. Looks like she was dragged back here. Oh, that's rough. Where's the owner of this damn tattoo parlor? What are they? Multiple puncture wounds. A few inches deep. The trail goes cold. What the fuck did you think you'd find here? An angry tattooist by the sounds of it. Okay, there's something else out. Oh, that's the book on the other side. Just want to be very careful we're not missing anything before we dive into her brain. Possibly her nightmares. Oh, I can move it. What is this stuff? So what's on that TV then, I wonder? Oh, is it just a light? <laughs> it's not a TV at all. And what is this? Can't scan it in any way. Oh, we can. Power adapter. So it's all just tattoo equipment. That shouldn't be a huge surprise to us. Well, after barely coming out of Amir's brain, I think we've got to jump in poor Helena's. If you're ready, I'm ready. I'm not totally ready. No sign like the present. Let's have another meeting with the Wolfman, I bet. Warning. Attempting a necroneural connection is in direct violation of the Postmortem Observation Act of 2061. Authorization denied. Oh, thank God. Emergency override. Open maintenance. No, no, stop, Daniel. She said no. You can't hack into dead people. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> no. Emergency extraction procedure offline. So if we get in a sticky situation, oh my God, a poor face. We won't get automatically pulled out. It's better be worth it. Oh god, she's had a rough time of it. Oh no, I can't believe we're here again. Eesh. Was she on drugs as well? I hope not. Oh, okay, this doesn't seem as bad. Did she work for Chiron? Hello, press the start. Job interview. Oh, that's just how they do job interviews in these days, is it? <laughs> Through a computer. Junior programmer. Oh, we saw that on the computer at home. So it was her looking for the, do uh, for the job. You are a valuable asset to our company. Thank you. Your hard work and loyalty are all always appreciated. That's good to know. Please relax and answer as truthfully as you can. Sure, why not? Do you want your homeland to thrive? Hell yeah. Wait, how can I? I can't move. <laughs> okay. Do you want to make the world a better place? Of course, I pick up litter whenever I see it. Um, I make sure old ladies cross the road. Do you want to live without fear? No, fear keeps us alive, stupid computer. Oh, how do I hit? That's how I do it. Oh, shit me! <laughs> Fine, yes, the, the answer is yes. Do you want to establish a productive relationship with Chiron Inc? Uh, yeah. Oh my god. Will you cooperate? Press Y. Will you comply? Press B. Will you conform? Sure, we'll conform. Get us out of here. The Republic is your mother. Okay, hey mum. Chiron is your father. You're right, dad. A mother's love is unconditional. A father's pride. Demand sacrifice. Oh dear. Are you willing to sacrifice for the greater good? Yeesh, there's no way I'm hitting no again. That's going to scare the shit out of me. Yes. Oh. Work. Productivity. Happiness. You will be happy. You will be productive. You will work towards the greater good. Will you obey? Of course, of course. <laughs> of course. Lovely old computer. We will obey. Loading. Finalising subject assessment, checking answers, analysing behavioural patterns, evaluating life choices. Warning, subject spouse, criminal record. Oh crap, so we get penalised for our husband? No liabi liability regarding current appointment, point deduction, minor, warning, ignored. Oh cool. 
Calculate and score. It better be a good one. Yay! Thank you so much. Thank you. It's a pleasure to finally be here. Now, <laughs> on that note, seeing as we've just became gamefully employed, I think maybe I will uh, quit while I'm ahead and end this episode there. So if you enjoyed this episode of Observer, please go ahead and leave a like. That's a great deal, and I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more, we'll continue scurrying about in the Helena's minds. Perhaps we'll get a promotion. How about that? Go ahead and subscribe, and I'll bring that to you. Got any comments you want to raise? And um, who do you think's behind all these murders? It can't be something known as the Wolfman, surely not. Or what do you think the tattoo owner is? Leave a comment below, and I'll make sure I get back to you. All right. See you.